Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the Constellation Phoenix. Now this week I'm just, uh, well, just chilling and uh, there's been quite a lot of news so uh, I thought we'd uh, just uh, have a look at some recent Star Citizen news highlights. Now Round the Verse was hosted by Eric Kyron Davis with Josh Herman. So let's have a look at some of the highlights. We got a look at uh, one of the new things coming with the new flight control system. The ability to have the thrusters on your ship take damage. And they showed us uh, some of the VFX uh, effects which will be needed for when those thrusters uh, actually uh, take some damage and uh, spew out different types of uh, VFX particles and flames and various effects. Now Gerard Huckabee is back and uh, Gerard told us about a couple of eagerly anticipated ships which will be coming in the future. The 890 Jump which is in grey box stage and uh, basically they're uh, testing uh, the placement of some of the turrets on the outside of that ship at the moment. They also showed us some of the early work they're doing inside the ship on the uh, luxurious decor. Now although there's still a long way to go for this ship, it does look very impressive indeed already. Now we also got a look at early work on the medical bay and those bathrooms. We also got a look at another much eagerly anticipated ship. This one's going to be a while though, the Anvil Carrick. And we had a look at some grey box work being done on the drone bay, uh, the crew rest lounge and the command deck with the three hanging chairs and they've also brought back from the original concept the mapping table. Now we also saw that uh, the Carrick will have the ability to actually withdraw its protruding arms if you want to deploy them or withdraw them you can and most importantly from the revised concept They've actually uh, dropped the uh, hideous landing gear they came up with and made the ship uh, a lot closer to the ground. So it uh, does look a lot better, I think. Now this week we also saw some ongoing work on the planet ArpCorp, which will feature in 3.5. Now ArpCorp is basically a planet which is covered by just an endless city. And uh, on ArpCorp, at the moment, we will have one landing zone, Area 18. Now, this is going to be uh, a little bit larger than the landing zone on Hurston, that's Lawville. Now, in the future, there may well be additional landing zones. Now, ArpCorp is this huge planet covered entirely by buildings. Now, of course, it's going to be a challenge to actually having a, a, a planet of this scale uh, completely covered by buildings. A lot of these uh, buildings are procedurally generated and placed. Now, others are actually uh, placed by the developers. Now, what they've actually done is uh, come to a decision on what is a good height for a no-fly zone because obviously um, you can't fly everywhere because uh, you'd run into uh, the situation where uh, some uh, people would uh, be very tempted to actually uh, crash into area 18 right on top of uh, some unfortunate players heads no doubt so uh, they've had to come some compromises uh, but they're looking at uh, a height of 400 meters uh, before you hit the no fly zone barrier. Now they're hoping to avoid uh, the issues we have uh, in Lowville at the moment where you get completely destroyed and uh, have to respawn. Now what they're looking at is some type of automated uh, flight assist system which will take control of your ship and uh, steer it to a safe height. Now there will be a number of taller buildings in the suburbs uh, surrounding Area 18 where you can fly around a bit like canyons in the sky. 
Now in the future, you may well be able to land on these buildings and go inside them. And there could be some uh, gameplay loops involving these tall buildings. Now, although you can't land everywhere on Arbcorp, I'm pretty excited to be able to uh, fly over that planet and see the never-ending uh, buildings. Could make a video, the never-ending city. We'll have to wait and see. Now this week, Jared Huckabee returned with Reverse Diverse. And this week, Todd Pappy answered questions from the community. Now, this was a very interesting show as uh, Todd actually uh, covered quite a lot of ground. Now, he's the uh, director for the Persistent Universe and uh, some of the interesting questions put to him uh, involved uh, travel times on the landing zones. Now, as we all know, sometimes the train can be a bit of a pain at Lawville and uh, they are aware of uh, this issue and uh, although it is cool taking the train sometimes it can be a little bit monotonous after about the uh, 30th time so they are actually looking at ways of uh, well making these train journeys a little bit shorter don't know how but uh, we'll have to see what happens now he also did say about that there would be a travel time between um, the Area 18 landing zone on uh, Art Corp, which we're seeing 3.5, and obviously the main part of uh, Area 18. But he said there'd be some type of a uh, space bus or flying bus, which would take you from the uh, spaceport into Area 18. Not sure what that's going to be, but uh, well, we'll find out sometime uh, in the next month or so, I guess. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to like, and also, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. So until next time, you take care, and hopefully I'll see you somewhere out in that big universe sometime soon. Bye for now.